This area of gently rolling hills and fertile land just outside Florence has a long and interesting history and it has managed to preserve its environmental and agricultural features while at the same time being the largest industrial concentration in Tuscany. Today Calenzano is a small and industrious town wedged between the slopes of Mount Calvana and the tree-clad Monte Morello. The landscape is made up of hilly countryside with woods and olive groves dotted with ancient manors and farmhouses, churches, castles and towers dating back to medieval and renaissance times. Thanks to the goodness of the land and the strategic importance of its position, the area has been inhabited since earliest times. There are several prehistoric sites in the Calvana area, as well as many traces of the Etruscans. After the fall of Rome, a number of fortified manors, known as Pievi, were built by feudal lords, and the land was organized around them. Around the year 1000, the first manor houses began to rise at strategic points in the area, often on the ruins of Roman buildings. The most important manor of this type in the Calenzano area is San Donato, named after the patron saint of the Byzantine army. Situated on a hill overlooking the Val di Marina, it dates from between the 9th and the 10th centuries. During the Middle Ages, it was fortified and became a point of reference for the local population who would take refuge there when the area was attacked by warring factions such as the Ghibelline in the 14th century. In 1450, the area came under the control of the Medici family and it was Carlo, son of Cosimo the Elder, who commissioned the elegant cloister. Another important manor house in the Calenzano area is San Severo in Legri, located at the crossroads of major communication routes leading to Fiesole, the valley of the river Arno and the Mugello area. It stands on the site of a Roman building and dates back to the 6th century AD, according to a stone inscription found in 1700. Another feature of this beautiful area and a sign of the flourishing economy are the large farmhouses. These residential structures were built by rich Florentine merchants in the 15th century to exploit the Tuscan countryside for agricultural purposes. The large farmhouses are surrounded by other buildings, including olive presses and granaries, forming spectacular complexes. Many of them are still active farms, producing traditional products of excellent quality. This is the Travalle farm villa, built in the 17th century by the Strozzi family. Set in magnificent surroundings, it is one of the finest examples of an elegant country house integrated into the region's agricultural system. Another fine example of a 16th century villa farm is the Colina. Along with others, it belongs to the Salviati and the Ginori families, who were among the wealthiest and most powerful in 16th century Florence. To restructure the ancient building, they commissioned a famous artist of the time, Baccio Bandinelli, who created a classically elegant example of a country house in a rural setting. This is the San Donato farm villa just outside the town, which dates back to the 15th century and is surrounded by splendid vineyards and olive groves.
Then there is another one called Somaya, at the foot of Monte Moreno. The last farmhouse villa on our tour is the Volmiano, which belonged to the Ceretani family and which includes parts of older medieval buildings. Annexed to the villa is the small oratorio of San Giovanni de Colato, decorated with interesting frescoes from the late 15th century. Olive oil produced here is made from natural products grown on the surrounding land. The traditional techniques which are still used ensure a genuine product of the highest quality. The centuries-old tradition of making olive oil is recalled today in an annual event which takes place in the second half of November. This olive oil festival brings together the main producers of the area to present the season's new olive oil, whose flavour and fragrance are known far and wide. The sense of history is strongly present in every part of this region. Travelling back in time, we see the network of castles that accompanied the churches. They were symbols of an aggressive and ruthless feudal aristocracy which arose in the 11th century. Now we are flying over the Legri Castle, which is located in a wonderful position. Owned by the Conti Guidi family since the late 12th century, it has recently been converted into a residential complex which is open to the public for prestigious events. However, the most important castle in the area is the one in Calenzan, around which Florence organized the defense of the countryside. Dating from the late 12th century, the castle was built to defend the rural estates of the Conte Guidi family, who understood that the area was extremely important for defending the surrounding countryside. 
In the middle of the 14th century, the entire hilltop was surrounded with a wall. In recent years, the entire complex has been restored and improved by the families living there and by the local authorities. And there are now many areas for hosting events such as conventions and festivals. A visit to the castle is an interesting journey back into the medieval world. It is evoked not only by the monuments, but also by colourful festivals, when the narrow streets are thronged by local people in period costumes. It is a leap back in time, returning briefly to the period when feudal lords ruled the Val di Marina from these towns. The small town has a number of religious buildings, including the Oratorio della Compagnia del Santissimo Sacramento and the Church of San Nicolò, today a parish church, that stands on the site of an older medieval building. The interior contains various frescoes attributed to Jacopo and Nardo di Cioni, among them a fragment of a crucifixion. The beautiful Annunciation is attributed to the same Jacopo and Nardo di Cioni and it stands as an altarpiece in the chapel to the left of the main altar. Among the most interesting features of the Calenzano Castle is a charming and unusual museum, the only one of its kind in Italy. The Municipal Museum of Historical Models makes use of model building, experimental archaeology and historical reconstruction to teach history. Founded in 1981, the museum collaborates with the University of Florence, the Office of Tuscan Archaeological Heritage, the Stibbert Museum in Florence and the major Tuscan and National Model Building Associations. At the foot of the ancient tower that defended the northern axis of the castle, the rooms of the museum form a didactic path where the various historical periods are represented by accurately scaled and scientifically correct models accompanied by information and multimedia instruments that help visitors to understand the display. The models are not only an exhibition of marvellous handicrafts, but also an unusual and fascinating way of providing an opportunity, especially for young people, to journey through and understand centuries of the history and culture of the region and their towns. In fact, all the models are based on iconographic and documentary sources and are the result of combining scientific research, manual handicrafts and artistic skills. The museum represents an interesting and absorbing way of learning history without books. In addition to the exhibition, every year the museum organizes lectures and film shows devoted to historical subjects where the town was involved in some way. Finally, the museum has a program of didactic activities, especially for schools, as well as commemorative events that reconstruct aspects of the daily life of past periods such as the Middle Ages, the Napoleonic Era and World War II. These activities make the museum a meeting point and help to spread knowledge of the main historical events that characterised the past in this region. The entire castle becomes a natural setting that forms the background for events and shows that include the participation of an increasingly large number of people going well beyond the local population. Among the major events are those devoted to the environment. During the last week in September, there is the Heritage Week with a full program that includes cultural activities, initiatives aimed at raising awareness of the environment as well as an interesting market. The 
stalls display typical food products whose genuineness demonstrates the care reserved in this area to biological and absolutely natural agriculture as an indispensable element for a better quality of life. In February, there are games, acrobats, clowns and jugglers at the Medieval Carnival. Finally, there is the Calenzano Summer Festival, where the castle and the town centre host numerous musical and theatrical shows accompanied by gastronomic events. The streets are filled with crowds of visitors who come to relax and enjoy themselves. For a few years now, Calenzano also has a theatre. After a long period of restoration, the Teatro Manzoni, dating from the 19th century, has reopened. The theatre programme includes the National Festival of Contemporary Women Dramatists, the only one of its kind in Italy, as well as a selection of other plays. The theatre is also the headquarters of the National School for Theatrical Writing.
However, Calenzano is not only interested in the past. It is also the site of important high-tech industries and has a design museum with more than a hundred pieces representing the history of Italian design from the 1960s to today. This cultural center is the only one of its kind. The exhibition collection is part of the Anna Querci Design Foundation, whose aims include offering young designers an overview of examples and models from the past. An area so rich in attractions must be able to offer visitors an appropriate welcome. All types of accommodation are available, including farmhouses located in the areas of greatest natural beauty and hotels in every category, including those of the highest class and comfort, not to mention a wide choice of bed and breakfast places and rented rooms. This hospitality is accompanied by restaurants in the renowned Tuscan tradition, offering typical local dishes created with absolutely natural ingredients produced locally. Calenzano provides many opportunities for sports activities. The hills that characterize the territory are the ideal place for walking and bicycling along the paths in the countryside surrounded by the beauties of nature. Visitors can also go riding and there is an important summer fair devoted to horses and other animals. It is also possible to go fishing in special areas set aside for sport, always located in attractive natural settings. Visitors can relax body and spirit during tranquil walks in the splendid Parco del Neto, a nature reserve of more than 17,000 acres with grounds rich in botanical species. The whole area is a fine example of an ancient and fertile land that is both hospitable and generous. Mm -hmm.